without a doubt. My friend has told you the tale about my parents and about the various things that I experienced when I visited the forest of Imumole. I do not lie when I say that anyone who has listened to these adventures could not fail to believe that I would never dream of hunting again. But no, I did hunt again. For it is in the profession to which a man is trained that he must serve. The goods which he truly understands are what a trader sells. And it was not fitting that I should leave my profession at the prime of day and turn to masonry or wood carving. But certain it is also that if you learned that I had indeed returned to hunting, you could hardly imagine that I would return to the forest of a thousand devotees. Some people don't know that apart from being a world-acclaimed literary icon, academic, humanist, playwright and a world traveler who can sing, dance, act and play the guitar, Africa's first Nobel Prize winner, Professor Wali Shoinka is also an avid hunter. These days, Professor Wali Shoinka spends his retirement taking long nature walks and hunting exotic wild fauna. Shoenka is a very public figure, but also a very private person. And hunting, if you, if you really do it properly, is also a very private experience. You go there alone sometimes on your own, for long hours, as I said, without any, anything to show for the hours you spend in the bush. When I have a bit, when I'm able to save a day, two days, or three days, I disappear into the bush hunting. That, I unwind completely, I come back very rejuvenated, very lighter in, in mind. Whether on a hunt for wildlife or for the elusive African consciousness, Professor Wale Shoinka has remained steadfast in his quest for game. His life has been one of interesting characters and colorful adventures, existing at the very epicenter where the worlds of fiction and reality intersect. Ah, smell it. Straight away. So you know that's lemon. Justice is the first condition of humanity. He believes in the politics of we are all in need together. He leaves it. It is not a put on attire. There is a sense in which when Shoinka engages an issue, he reduces it to the fundamental level, to a point that requires action. If I see something, drastically wrong. It doesn't matter at what level. Sometimes I say it's a kind of uh, perverse laziness that it takes too much energy to walk away from something which I disapprove of than actually to intervene in it. Ultimately, it's just a question of wanting to be at peace with myself. Professor Wali Shoenka has been recognized all over the world as a notable playwright, ferocious activist and humanist. He's a writer I will not write like. But if you see Shoinka in what I write, that tells you how much of an, an impact he has made. His knowledge tends to rub off on people. Just five minutes with him and you're a different person. As a professional, every character that he creates in his plays, there will be one that will be carrying his own feeling and attitude. When you read the lines the character is reeling out, you will know that a guy is talking about himself. Wale wants you to think. He doesn't want to think for you. Wale prods, provokes, and to make you make up your mind yourself. Radical humanism in showing guys what it is in his writings, in, his, in the way he lives his life, in the way he relates to other people, in the way he has done everything he's done, humanism is one word that rings through. His life has been one totally devoted to speaking out on behalf of the voiceless, and he knows the very few words to drive the point home effectively. As the title of the book we did, uh, 
uh, Wale Shoinka at WS, A Life in Full, he's a man who, who's enjoyed life to the fullest. He's not a man of half measures. The trajectory of his life shows that. He's committed to his arts, committed to his work, committed to his, uh, his principles as an activist. And we must learn to appreciate how life is an intermixture of so many things. There isn't only one way to arrive in the market. That's a very deep traditional saying in Shoinka's uh, general philosophy. But with a proviso that certain things are not done because you degrade human life when you do some things. All those things that degrade human life, any way that can be found to remove them is good. He has impacted almost every writer in Nigeria. You know, so many writers across Africa. He has put Nigeria out there in a very positive light. And um, so many people have celebrated him. So we thought we should you know, do something that would be quite enduring, something that would promote other writers as well, because he's quite interested in uh, grooming young minds. I met Professor Ole Shoenka through a poem in school when I was 10 years old. His poems were part of an anthology that were recommended for us in school to read. So he's not a man that you can easily forget. I feel that he's a conscience of our nation. He starts a conversation, he engages people, um, starts controversies sometimes. But I feel like it, it's that truth that always needs to be told for a nation that easily forgets. I can only hope that this stays around for a few more years to inspire more people and inspire another generation. How scant and timid will our literature be without Wale Shoinka's contributions? Literature is a socialized event in that it's almost collective activity in that sense. Because as I said, no single work can actually say, I stand alone. I would say the first book of his were published, which was Memoirs, You Must Set Forth at Dawn. It's a story of his life, so that's Shoinka speaking in a sense. You can see that he's a man of strong convictions, he's a man who loves adventure, he's a man of principles, uh, he's a man who enjoys life, and that comes across. You, you wouldn't miss that. The profundity that you have, indeed, part of the complexity has to do with his capacity to take on the issues. Professor Wale Shoenka is a monument. In fact, one may be tempted to dub him superhuman. His adventures have led him to be labeled a malcontent, an outlaw, a fugitive, a prisoner of conscience, eccentric, maverick, rebel, legend, and an icon. In one word, you want to describe him in just one word? It's difficult to describe in just one word. Humanity. Fair-minded. <laughs> Relentless. Courageous. But anybody could be courageous. Spirit. Humanism. You are, you are talking of you are talking of somebody who is motivated. In that is, in a lean frame, you have so much packed into it. I don't think it is easy to describe Shoenka in just one word. I'm not, I'm not interested only in literature. I'm interested in music, in architecture, interested even in the sciences, uh, in technology, the latest technology. I'm intrigued. By the, by the sheer brilliance of the human mind, the ability to penetrate the cosmos, to demolish all kinds of uh, superstitions which hold down humanity. I probably wouldn't spend so much time trying to reform people who are extremists, especially in matters of religion. You know, it's a, they are malformed for some reason or the other. I will leave that task to others. Leave it to psychologists, leave it to clerics, leave it to uh, sociologists, and mind my own literary <laughs> and creative interests. Thank you for everything you have done in my life. You have touched my life, and every day that I spend with you, I treasure. The Prof, thank you for being who you are for being amazing. May we have many of you uh, reproduced. Thank you so much for being a source of inspiration. Being close to you has taught me a lot about myself. Thank you very much, Prof. You remain the same old flame, the same old path maker. Knowing you has actually given me fulfillment. I'm grateful that Nigeria 
has been blessed with you, Wale. May you live to a very ripe old age, drinking your wine and me sharing part of the wine too. In the end, we celebrate Professor Wale Shoenka because he is a great son of Africa, blessed with immeasurable talent, shared freely with the whole world. We just want to say thank you to this living legend who brought dignity and honor to African literature and the continent in general. <laughs>